Well, it's four o'clock, Richard. <gasps> you know what? Oh man, Mario's getting powered up. Uh, <laughs> welcome, welcome to a very peculiar joystick streams. It is Wednesday, uh, which is not usually what we stream. Joystick streams is usually a Tuesday and Thursday sort of thing. But this morning, after seeing the Nintendo Direct for Mario Kart 8, we got thinking about the Nintendo Direct that recently happened for uh, Super Smash Bros. Wii U. And we're like, you know what's freaking awesome? Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers is really awesome. Uh, so we got out the awesomest of all Smash Brothers, which is Super Smash Brothers Melee, which came out in December of 2001, just one month after the GameCube launch. And, uh, we're, we're playing that action on, on Richard Mitchell's old Wii. And, uh, we also thought that this would be a, a mighty fine opportunity to give away some codes for virtual console games that we, we have. Uh, if you're curious about what games we're giving away for Virtual Console, we have a one code, just one code, for Super Mario Bros. 3 on Nintendo oh 3DS. God. I have 999 Smash Coins. <laughs> Get some action figures! And I, I can't, because I have all the trophies, I think, because I have a 0% chance of getting a new trophy. <laughs> We are, uh, the other codes that we are giving away here are Virtual Console on Wii U codes, and it's for all of the recently released Game Boy Advance games. We've got codes for Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, WarioWare, F-Zero, Metroid Fusion, Advance Wars, Golden Sun, uh, Yoshi's Island, and even, uh, we do also have a code for Super Mario Bros. 3 on Wii U as well. So we're going to be popping those into the chat while Richard plays the campaign. Can, That's what we're going to do, right? Can can we just impress upon the, the, the crowd out there the fact that how difficult it was. There was a code for Super Mario 3 on 3DS. Nintendo sent it to me in my email and I was That's like, right. we should give this away to the readers. <laughs> I shouldn't take this for myself. You showed amazing restraint. Jesus, you do have all of... I told you, man. The action figure, that's amazing! No, we, like, me and my buddy, like, this was our game. This was our jam. I don't even know, I don't even know what to do with myself. With all of the, oh my god. I don't think I've ever seen a complete collection like that. No, we played far too much with this game. Can we, can we agree that Masahiro Sakurai Formerly of HAL Laboratory, currently the st remaining the mastermind of uh, remaining the mastermind of the Smash Brothers series is a crazy person. Yeah, but like, like crazy in a good, good, good way. And here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I I'm just gonna lay this out for everyone out there. Um, first of all, Intest, thank you for uh, for my trophy collection compliment. <laughs> I am a Zelda Sheik player, generally. Sometimes, uh, if there's enough people playing, maybe I'll do Samus or Ganondorf, but that's got to be multiplayer because, like, one-on-one, -on -one, not great. Um, I'll let you pick who I play. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, dicey. Yeah. Everybody say Ice Climbers. Oh, dear God. Everybody say Ice Climbers. <laughs> All right, Rex Cosmos wants, wants Sheik. There's, there is a vote for Sheik. I could always do. I could always go rando. Or can, can you still do that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because you put it on. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Game and Watch. All right. McCalvin is saying Pikachu. Rex Cosmos is now changing uh, their mind and is saying Ice Climbers. We've got Yoshi. We've got Kirby. You know what? I am gonna have to go with Domestic Samus. <laughs> Domestic uh, Samus! Domestic Samus would probably be the pink one, right? You'd think? Oh, yeah. I, so I we got the, we got the orange, we've got uh, purple, green, mauve, I guess. <laughs> and pink. I'm going to go pink. Okay, I'm glad there's actually... I like this about Smash Brothers. We have votes for basically everyone at this point. Yeah, that's great. That so rules. many different votes. That's great. God, I love this game so much, you guys. And I enjoy Brawl, but it seemed like maybe my buddy who I used to play with uh, 
we like fell out of touch or something. It's like we didn't play it as much. Ready? And of course, the other side of that is it wasn't as good. Yeah. <laughs> Domestic Samus has appeared in the chat. Domestic Samus does indeed prefer pink. It's the most classically feminine color. We also would have accepted the answer from Domestic Samus, whatever the boys think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike Suzik is throwing down on Falco. Harsh, Mike. Oh, I, uh, I, I always enjoyed a, a nice... I am very sad that Slippy Toad has never been a, uh, a character. Um, my friend... Oh, oh crap. Don't die there. Um... Who he used to play with? He was uh, a fox. Like fox was his his guy, and he was really good with it too. <laughs> yeah, uh, we got Lord Roy seven seventy six saying uh, Slippy for Super Smash Brothers four. Completely agree. There are so many. I I will say watching the trailers for. Super Smash Bros. Wii U, I am already delighted that, like, some of the assist trophies are so obscure. Like, oh, I yeah. love I love the fact that the main character, uh, Saki from Sin and Punishment on N64 is one of the assist trophies. That's they also have, uh, they've got, like, uh, Namco stuff in there. Like, from Namco Rally or whatever that game is? Yeah, yeah, they've got, like, the old, like, there's, like, a Galaga one. Mm-hmm. Of course, Namco is helping to develop the game, so that's not too surprising. That's not too surprising. Yeah, I, I, I like, I can't wait uh, for them to uh, do like an Awada asks. Although they haven't done a lot of the Awada asks recently, ah, the, uh, the series of sort of in-depth roundtable interviews that Satoru Awada was doing when Marquee Wii and uh, 3DS ah. and DS games came out. But I, I want to know precisely who from... Because I know that the team at Namco that's helping out is like an amalgamation of teams. It's people from the Tekken crew, it's people from the Tails uh, <laughs> RPG crew. A lot ah. of talented people. But it's the worst time to get a mushroom. <laughs> There we go! <laughs> Seriously, Mario, you've got to die, buddy. So, Richard, as a as a Zelda and Sheik player in Smash Brothers, uh -huh. how do you, how do you feel about the fact that they're uh, splitting the transforming characters into two separate characters? I'm pretty pissed about that. Honestly, yeah, it's pretty that's pretty lame, right? I like why to what end? Because that. That completely alters the interesting strategy of using those well, characters. So here's the way I've always played it is Zelda is whenever you break her out when you've got a wide field. Like there's a lot of players in the game still. Yeah. Because people, they don't appreciate how powerful she is, especially her jump kick. Because I mean, if you crack that thing just right, I mean, people go flying. And she also has a lot of tactics that she can use when people aren't paying attention. But then when you go one on one, it's Sheik time. Yeah. And God, I just I love that whole character. Although, I'm a big fan of Samus's just forward smash, which I always just called Wah Punch! <laughs> I, are there people. Is there anyone at home singing along to the Donkey Kong rap? Please tell me somebody is singing along to the Donkey Kong rap. Please tell me somebody out there knows. Every word to the Donkey Kong rap. And sings it every single morning as they make their coffee. <laughs> uh, that, this level is always just ridiculous. Donkey Kong kills himself almost every time. Uh, Alright, Pikachu in the chat is just saying, like, Pikachu hates Zero Suit Samus. But normal Samus is their favorite character. Can't even play as my favorite character with the Smash Ball and fear of turning into Zero Suit. Well, that problem is cleared up in in Super Smash Brothers Wii U. Now that Zero Suit Samus is like a totally other character. 
See, I'm actually, I am all for that because I too yeah. did not like Zero Suit Samus. I didn't think she was a good character in general. And the same thing, like, do you really want that Smash Ball? Because you're going to have to be Zero Suit Samus now. Man, I really, I really badly wish that, like, I, I kind of wish that the Zero Suit thing wasn't, like, why, why is that so prevalent now? I mean, besides, like, the fact, besides the obvious, like, I just don't understand, like, I, Oh, uh, did you see me juggle him off the map? Oh, that was great. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like, I don't know, like, I think, you know, there was that one moment in Zero Mission where she didn't have the suit, and it was kind of cool. And that was cool. It was a cool, that was a cool section of the game, but, like, the whole point is that she can't, like, she's not... Like, that's not a good thing for a fighting game. Right. It's not a good fit. Oh, like, oh, she has a stun gun. Yeah, like, yeah, that was the whole thing. Like, she just has this tiny little pistol, can't do very much. And I guess you could say that that's part of her character in Smash Brothers Brawl, but it's like, really? Part of her character is to punish players <laughs> for using the Smash Ball? <laughs> I do wish, uh, I do wish that you could be Samus in the sweet 80s exercise leotard. Oh yeah, right? From the NES game. That would be pretty awesome. I, I actually had saw green hair. At, PA I, at PAX East, I saw this woman walking, <laughs> Susan points out, she's in high heels. Exactly. Why would she be fighting in high heels? That's ridiculous. Uh... But yeah, I saw I saw a woman on the floor of PAX East. She was cosplaying as like Justin Bailey, Samus mm -hmm. from the old NES game, and she like had like this huge green wig on, and like had like the '80s exercise leotard. It was so cool. I see. Um, eight eight bit art, or eight bit theart. I'm not sure how you say that. Um, is really excited for Smash Brothers on the 3DS. Yeah, Which, actually, I am too. That like that's the version I want. Me too. I I really like like the cell shaded look too, because it's I, not quite cell shaded. It's just like weird thick lined characters. And, and not to mention that like I mean the 3ds itself is just a great little system. Like, well, the, the the XL is. I, I'm not a fan of the original so much. Yeah, but. the original the original is not great. Uh, but yeah, I I'm I'm excited to play it on there. So if anybody. Uh, out there has been thinking about checking it out. Oh, come on, Caesar. The new Kirby game that's coming out next week, Kirby Triple Deluxe, actually has an extra mode that's kind of like Kirby Smash Brothers. Mm -hmm. And it's actually can... not that bad. And it's pretty cool! It's pretty good! And it, like, it's like a nice, it's a nice little preview of, uh, nope. of what that's gonna be like. Uh, Stealth20k in, in the chat is, is asking... A question like it's an it's inevitable that this comes up when you talk about Smash Brothers because they're they're really kind of of a piece. But uh, Stealth Twenty K says, "What do you guys think of Mario Kart?" Richard, you've played Mario Kart mm -hmm. Eight some, right? Yeah, I got to play it uh, back uh, during GDC week in March, and it's a lot of fun actually. I, I haven't really gotten into a Mario Kart game in a long time. Um, I would say, gosh, like I skipped the sixty four. I played a a uh, little bit of Double Dash in the GameCube, but not much else recently. Ah, damn it. I don't get this at all. And it was a lot of fun. Like, the gravity changing mechanic works really well. Mm. Um, and it, it gives some new life to some of the stages. In fact, even the retro stages, which are, you know, a staple of the series, um, they added the zero gravity elements uh, to it. Not mine. <laughs> and uh, really, okay. Um, and what I played was a lot of fun. Like I still don't dig the gyroscope controls. You know, I stick yeah. to the real control. But um, the courses were a lot of fun. The you know the customizing your ride exactly how you want it. Like I gave mine like this tiny little these tiny little wheels. They look like skateboard wheels mm. and stuff like that. It's fun. Oh, I forgot about this. You know, it's funny, I, I played Mario Kart 8 um, at E3 last year, when, when they when they sh started showing it off the first time, and I, I've really eaten crow 
since E3 2013. I, I've eaten like a piping hot plate of crow repeatedly. So you didn't like it the first time? I did not care for Mario Kart 8. I did not care for Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. And I did not care for uh, Super, uh, Super, uh, Super Mario Brothers 3D World. I did really didn't like 3D World. Uh, that very first stage, I was like, oh, God, it's just going to be exactly like 3D Land, which I thought was just so, like, bland. Mm -hmm. And God, was I proved wrong, because freaking 3D World is, I, I, hands down, I, I would say, the best thing that Nintendo has made uh, probably since 2006. Like, it's the best Nintendo game. You didn't like 3D Land? I did, I did not care for 3D huh. Land. I thought 3D Land felt very half-baked. Okay, uh, here, this is my favorite Smash Brothers level, by the way. I just... I love it. <laughs> always, Green greens? There's always... You never know what's going to happen on this level. Boom! <laughs> so yeah, the, the short and long of it is that I was very, very wrong about 3D World based on my first impression and very wrong about Donkey Kong uh, as well. That turned out to be a really good game. Mm -hmm. And I, I get the feeling that like even though the track I tried of Mario Kart 8 was just like, you know, it didn't really float my boat, but mm -hmm. I, I am looking, really looking forward to it now. Yeah, we're getting <laughs> definitely some uh, consensus in the in the chat. 3D World is indeed awesome. Uh, oh, everything froze up for a second, Richard. Oh, that's a there load screen, I guess. Oh, that's a load screen. Yeah, because it's got to load all these Kirby's. Oh, I'm not doing that. Right. What is what is everybody gonna do when there's that much Kirby? <laughs> and just look around, there's just too much Kirby. I don't know so, why Sling Blade is talking about Kirby. But... Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe you've encountered this too, that, that with, you know, maybe you're like me and you have some friends who like to play video games, some that don't, and what was always fun, hold on, is Smash Brothers is something that even my friends who like, like video games a lot, um, we'll see Smash Brothers and it's like they just don't get it. Or they just don't huh. see why it's fun. Like uh, the former EIC here at, at Joystick, uh, Chris Grant, just doesn't doesn't get what the whole thing is about. Like, why really? Like Smash Brothers. It just seems so... Uh, like, I, I, I guess to me, like, I just, I love sort of like cartoon, like, chaos. Mm -hmm. You know? I, I like that... Super Smash Brothers, yeah, get him. like almost feels like a 1970s cartoon that you get to play, like wacky yeah, racers, mm -hmm. you know, like oh my god, here's this bizarre stuff happening right now. Uh, you know, I, I love that, and I I guess if you had no affinity for these characters at all, mm -hmm. it might seem a little strange that you would be interested in doing this, but it's still like it seems appealing to me on a basic level. Well, I, I think I think a lot of people see it no as just Get ready, running around, mashing buttons and stuff like that. But it's like you absolutely cannot do that. Um, I think people just see it as a big cluster, and they're like, "I don't get it. Why is this?" Yeah, fun? yeah. But I am totally one of those people that's going to tell you this is a really excellent fighting game, not just a fun game. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Slippy, get out of here. Fox's friends are really helping him out. It's really funny. I, You know, every now and again you see people saying, like, oh, give us a new Star Fox, give us a new Star Fox. Can you imagine how people would slam Nintendo if they made, like, a console Star Fox? That was just like the original. It's the same exact gameplay as the original, oh, yeah. and like the same length. And put that out as a retail game for like fifty bucks. People would riot. Oh, what? It's not enough there. A rail shooter for fifty dollars. Wow. Tiny Samus with a hammer. Gotcha. <laughs> it's, 
see some three on one level nine computer four stock. I will do that. that, is, that is... <laughs> I will do that here in just a minute. Although I will tell you, like playing against high level computer players in Smash Brothers is the worst training for real yeah. players. Yeah. Because yeah. they're very predictable. Now, having said that, I haven't done it in years, and I'll probably get my you know my butt whooped. But uh, computer players are not good. Ruthless, yes, but you can also game them. Dim Pokeballs! Oh, oh my god. Kecl Keklar in the chat is saying 3DS eShop would be a great place for a nice new short Star Fox game. Yeah, Completely yeah. agree. Completely agree. Nice little, nice little downloadable. What else? Just say, give, give me an HD remake of Star Fox 2. I just want these Pokeballs, man. They're awesome. <laughs> also, this is where the majority of my Pokemon knowledge comes from. Yeah, me too. Although I have played uh, a handful of Pokemon games at this point. I've played Blue and Pearl and Black 2. Yeah, which, you know, those are they're pretty much, they're all basically the same thing. And although I hear X and Y is very, uh, very different. Actually, maybe somebody in the chat can answer this question for me about Pokemon. I understand that Ash Ketchum is still the main character of the Pokemon cartoon show, and that's still something that is still on the air. Now... Pokemon premiered in the United States when I was 15 years old on television. How, like, how old is Ash on the show at this point? Like, because it's not like The Simpsons, where, like, it's episodic, but there's no continuity. Right. Like, like Pokemon is about a continuous life. Like, Ash does things. Did you so notice he... that, that at, oh, man, this level's so good. Um, at some point in The Simpsons, like, for a couple seasons, they were like, you know, oh, Bart's going to fail the fourth grade, or they're not going to make it to school this year, and it's like, after a while, they just stopped with all that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would love it if Ash Ketchum were, like, you know, 40. You gotta catch them all, man. <laughs> Every time I think I got this thing mastered, they pull me back in. I'm just going to chill here. Yeah, another one of my favorite levels uh, in this game, the uh, versus levels anyway, is the, the F-Zero track, where you're just fighting on top of F-Zero cars. So cool. Uh, yeah, oh, there we go. Keklar just said, F-Zero is another series we need a new game for. I completely agree. Richard, did you see when Shigeru Miyamoto did an interview a couple of years ago? It was like right after they started showing off the Wii U for the first time. And he was like, you know, part of the reason we made the original F-Zero was that we could show things graphically with Mode 7 right. that had never really been done before. And it was a technical showcase. Right. The same was true for F-Zero 64 because it was a tie-in with the DB system. Uh, and F-Zero GX on GameCube was the same thing. It was just like, man. Right. Down that super scope. <laughs> uh... But, like, the, the, the claim now is, like, oh, well, people wouldn't be wowed by a new, uh... Oh, you're gonna get Pokey oh, juggled on, off the screen? Um, I don't know. I, like, um... F-Zero is not a game I really got to spend much time with as a kid, because I didn't have a Super Nintendo while it was popular. I only got mine way later. How, what is way later? Um, let's see. Well, I would have had a Saturn at the time, I'm pretty sure. The best console of all time. Yes. Uh, well, pretty damn good anyway. Um, Domestic yeah. Samus, would you agree that Sega Saturn is the best console of all time? I agree that whatever Richard says <laughs> is the truth. Now this level- Because he's really very, very wise. Uh, for, on especially it. for someone so young. <laughs> and handsome. 
And handsome. Oh, he's terribly, terribly handsome. He's also very talented. I don't know if you knew that. He does lots of voices. Oh, I yeah. Was gonna that. Yeah, we were testing this uh, stream earlier today, which I just decided to do my southern dandy voice. Shall I do that now? Absolutely. Well, hi there, everybody. We're playing some Smash Brothers today. I've always disliked this level because of the cars. They just get me on edge. Oh, we Plus, they're, they're, they're really expanding their carbon footprint. Is that... That's bad. Is that what the Earthbound games are all about? It's like, Earth... I've never finished Earthbound proper. You should recycle. <laughs> that environment... Environmentalism and, uh... Let's see, uh... Numerically accurate municipal planning. <laughs> because it's like <laughs> all the towns are like one, two, three, mm. four. Perfectly laid out. Susan, are, were well, you... Well, in... Oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 you go. I was just gonna say, are you a Smash Brothers person? Who's your character? I am not, uh, because when Smash Brothers came out, um, I did not have any friends who played video games. Mm. So, and that's this a, is a game... That's essential, you, yeah. Yeah, th th this game, and I played it, and I played it by myself, and I'm like, this isn't fun. Yeah, like, I mean, it's, some fighting it's still games not great you by yourself. Yeah. I mean, I'm doing this yeah. for, for <laughs> all of you, but... I'm going to switch over to I, I'm a little concerned about that polar bear in the speed of those. He's very, very unsettling to me. Um, but yeah, so I never, I never got into it. I never had that uh, whole, you know, being... Your friend for punching each other in the thigh, and and never had any of that. Uh, my brother was four years older than me, so by the time this came out, he thought video games were stupid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Look at him now. He threw away my Atari. Oh, Monster. Come on. Yeah, I know. I know. I came home. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get my Atari, and I'm gonna hook it up. It's gonna be awesome. And I found out he threw it away. He's like. That thing had the computational power of a toaster. I'm like, you are dead to me. <laughs> that doesn't mean it's not great. Oh no. I know. Like, I mean, uh, the GameCube at this point has the computational power of some of the toasters that you could buy. Like, it's you. Sure, because there are some really good toasters. There are some there. really good toasters. Let's be clear. Yeah. No, it's it. Yeah, it's it's hard to believe we we come from the same I'm genetic about to win, material. They're not going to keep up. Susan, I now want to, like, go to a department store and see a toaster that says, Can Run Crisis 2. <laughs> <laughs> I would buy it. I would be like, yes. I'd be like, oh my god, why? And it would be the, it would be the best looking toast <laughs> you would ever have in your entire life. No, I would love it if, like, it could run Crisis 2, like, the, you know, two specs to the max. Like 60, 60 frames per second, and an up. But then, like when you make toast, it kind of sucks. Like one side is burned, <laughs> <laughs> and there's lag. There's and, like, there's you the, know. <laughs> it takes like a there's, really long time. Yeah, the toast looks great there's until toast you get tearing. toast looks great until you get up close. Oh god! <laughs> All kinds of frame rate issues with this oh, toast. Take my star. Every now and again, I, I start to think about, you know, like, phrases like frame rate, you just never have to worry about unless you're talking about video games on a regular basis. Uh, like, language that we use, like, when you talk about playing something for the first time, you're like, oh, man, hands-on, hands-on impressions. You never hear that when people, like, talk about books. Like, oh, man, I got eyes on Salman Rushdie's new novel. That's a thing that I got to today. You do hear some of that in the tech world. Oh, do you? Mm -hmm. Well, for sure, yeah. But there, there are. There's a part of the Venn diagram there. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, that's I mean, true. I mean, there are like, you know, preview screenings, movies, and stuff like that. But it is not. <laughs> it is not the same. Foban says the load times on his toaster are pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that 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 button you have to depress on that uh, on that toaster it just takes forever to go in. Okay, I, I don't like how the point totals at the end of the round are being judgmental. <laughs> there was a cheat. 
There's one called Cheap KO, and I I don't appreciate that it's judging Richard. I, I uh, <laughs> died once, and it was my own damn fault. Just falling off the level. Go me. It is uh, the middle of the hour, and for anybody just joining us here on a, a, an impromptu joystick streams, we are playing Super Smash Brothers Melee with Southern Dandy Richard Mitchell. Hi, y'all. And Domestic Samus. I hope you all have had a wonderful day. Would you like some muffins? <laughs> I just made fresh iced tea. I was about to do a Peter it's, Gabriel imitation, but that won't work. It's, well, it's, I, it, I don't want to correct you. I've, I, it's sweet tea, actually. It's different. <laughs> it's now, again, with, it's, now, I don't think that it's judging you. It's saying stale moves, and I think you should be allowed to mo make whatever moves you want, even if it is falling off the level and killing yourself. You just do whatever you want. Don't let it, the old game tell you how to be. Because Stealth 20K says, this has to be the other <laughs> M, Samus. Yes. Indeed. Yep. That is entirely correct. That is the genesis of Domestic Samus. Indeed, that is the lead character of an Oh, great. And now he's huge. Shoot it. Oh, I don't need my charge. <laughs> <laughs> also, I found it earlier today that uh, my microphone so is sensitive enough that you can hear my controller, so um, enjoy that. Honestly, I feel like that adds to it, the clacky clacky. I feel like it, it really helps us Absol feel like we're Absol there with you. Absolutely. I love the clacky clacky feedback of the joystick. The louder a, a joystick. Yeah. It's like when you're listening to an album and you hear yeah. like, sliding on guitar strings. I like that. I like that noise yeah. feedback. Hibiki Rush is asking, will there be 3DS codes? Yes, there will be a single 3DS code. We have just oh. the one, and it is uh, for Super Mario Brothers 3. And it'll appear in the chat at some point. I don't know. If we, if we only have one code, we might have to ask them to do something different. Because here's the thing, a lot of people are, are here for the codes, and absolutely, um, and there are some really, really fast lurkers out there who are just poised and waiting. Ready. So we might have to... Uh, we might have to ask for something a little different for that code. And then, like, email it to them or something. How many codes are left? Actually, yeah. We can send private messages in this chat, can't we? <laughs> How about that? We've got one. We are also, Smash with Brothers, the one of the best uh, credit sequences ever. Oh, I love that. I love shooting the name. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah, for sure. So what's next, Richard? Are you going to dive into uh, uh, some matches, or how about the targets? Uh, the targets, I think, would be fun. We did have a request for some 301, so I feel like I ought to do that. Maybe I'll switch up for Zelda or Ganondorf for that uh, with some high-level computer players. In fact, we're wasting time. Why am I still doing this? <laughs> Fast forward. Here's the thing. Okay, so we're going through all the, uh, the voice actors right now at that point in the credits, and, and obviously... Everybody is, is in there. There's Pikachu in there and, and Slippy and whatnot. I would have loved to have seen a recording session of, <laughs> of whoever's Pikachu doing all the little sound bites for Pikachu in Smash Brothers. Pika! Well, I mean, like, no, now think you're about... sad. Pika! <laughs> think about Charles Martinet doing, like, Mario. I mean, he just sits at a sound booth going, woohoo, for, like, three hours. Right. Right, exactly. By the way, um,. Classic. He and Tony the Tiger at least got to say something. Classic experience for me when I, uh, in high school, when I first started dating my, my now wife, um, I used to call her on the phone and she had a Nintendo 64 and she'd be playing, you know, Mario 64 while I was talking to her on the phone. And, uh, one of the best parts of those conversation was knowing when she'd gotten to one of the Bowser levels because just on the other end of the phone, every couple, every minute or two, I'd just hear, <laughs> because of Mario just falling off the level. Oh, man, I loved it. I, I love when voice acting gives away the fact that you're talking to somebody while playing video games. Uh, my my very first girlfriend in high school, you know, oh, like, 
like all children of the 90s, we did not text to each other. We used to spend a lot of time on the phone. And she would, like, we would be in the middle of a conversation. She'd be like, well, what do you think we should do this weekend? You're playing Castlevania, aren't you? <laughs> what do you mean? I, I, I'm not playing Castlevania. And she's like, I just heard Miserable Pile of Secrets. You're playing Castlevania. <laughs> no, I'm not. That didn't, no. No, it never would have happened. <laughs> no, but the worst the worst is when you oh, wait because most most games you play you can pause yeah but then your significant oh, other yeah. comes in and wants to talk to you about something and you can't pause the game it cuts and in. then you gotta make a choice <laughs> <laughs> oh i see susan for me my my wife has definitely gotten to the point where she like like I she could walk in and if I'm like middle of the cutscene like yeah she totally understands and it's cool but there are other times where like she knows like I can't use that excuse <laughs> and <laughs> like like she'll be like don't tell me you can't save it right now I just saw the auto save logo oh oh she knows too much oh yeah she knows too much. She's much, oh, 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 she wait, is I, much smarter than I am, is, is the end all be all. Sorry, guys, I just remembered I can use the C stick for my smash. You can't do that in one player game. <laughs> Santos244, my toaster can't pause games. <laughs> you know, here would be my problem if I was going to get into Smash Brothers, which I doubt I, very much doubt I ever will, except in a. You know, if, if oh. Team Joy is ever physically at the same place at the same time, I would just be picking characters based on who, you know, my favorites. Like I, I always pick Yoshi for everything because I love Yoshi. Or I'd be picking Pichu because Pichu's cute. Mm. You Yoshi's know. not a bad character. Instead of what? Yeah, Yoshi. Yoshi. He's a great Mario Kart character. I mean, he can be he can be supremely annoying in Smash Brothers. Yeah, it came out on top. Look at that. Yoshi. Man, I. Nailed that one. Or I would be, or I would pick Jig I pick Jigglypuff just so I could sing Jigglypuff the entire time and annoy people. <laughs> exactly. All right, so I'm so guys. I'm sorry. I just I don't I don't have the right rules going. Here we go. There we go. All right, who wants? Let's let someone pick my character and then we'll and then we'll do another multiplayer match. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's. See. Oh. Okay, what does the chat say? Yeah, where where would the chat like all of our rules to go? Uh, meanwhile, uh, the Mac hacker is making a nin toaster, <laughs> which I think is the greatest thing I've ever heard in my life. Love that. I love every bit of that. Uh, There's one Jiggy actually, Puff, Roy. Susan, I know that you are, you know, a console-only gamer. Uh, Correct. Richard... You have a fairly powerful PC. Have you ever used any of the emulators that let you play your GameCube or Wii U Wii games directly on your PC, like Dolphin? No, I, I the the most advanced I ever got in the emulator world. I remember I burned a Super Nintendo emulator onto a disc so that I could play it on my Dreamcast. Oh. Cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but as far as for personal use, I got a Saturn emulator a while ago. Yeah. Uh, so I could play some of my Saturn games on the computer. And um, how does it work? Does it work well? Yeah, it works well. Oh, so what? Does he? Do you just you put the Saturn disc in your computer and then it lets yeah, you play you it? Yeah, totally do that. See? Of course. Yes, you, you oh, could okay. get you could get CD images as well, but I was actually yeah. putting discs in there. Yeah. Yeah, let's not do that because that's piracy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, back in the day, there was, like, official Saturn support on PCs. Like, Sega released a was Saturn... Really? Yeah, there was a Saturn controller that you that was meant directly to plug into your PC, and oh. you, you All could All right, someone, play. someone mentioned Bob Hoskins dying, so I should play as Mario. I think that's... Yeah, no, that's, that's accurate. That's accurate. All right, accurate. that's fair. That's totally fair. Yep. Okay, you guys gotta tell me what Poke Flux is. Oh, I don't know no, no, don't tell her. Don't tell her. She's gonna see it firsthand. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Alright, good. 
I'm excited about this. Where is Pokey Floats? Pokey Floats! <laughs> just like Hope Floats? <laughs> exactly. Exactly like, like that. that. I should tell you, Mario is like one of my least used characters. Excuses, excuses, blah, blah, blah. Well, he's, so, he's very typical. He's very ordinary. You know, it's like, oh, it's Mario. He's an all-rounder. He's an all-rounder in the Smash world. Oh my god, it's a giant squirtle! <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh, he is god. the creator. Look at his horrifying mouth. Oh my god, what is going on? Sai! Also, damn, this is some blocky stuff, isn't it? Wow. Oh man, but when it came out, it was the most amazing looking video game that had ever been created. Oh, I know, I remember, I remember it was really gorgeous, you know, really, really gorgeous and everything. Uh, everything moved really, really fluidly and all that, but whoo, that's some blocky stuff. Which is weird. I like. I wonder if that was just a, a matter of like how much time they had to make the game because. Oh my god! It's a giant Psyduck. I'm freaking out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like a Macy's Day Parade float. This is this is the stuff of nightmares. Oh my god! I'm so sorry to have interrupted. You. Tomato. <laughs> that will make sense to you in about seven seconds. The viewers know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I didn't just scream tomato for no reason. Bump, the bump, the bump. Oh, I'm fine. Yep, I'm that, fine. That right there, that is a tomato. That is a max tomato. Which is an earthbound thing, I think? Probably. Oh, man! I knocked all three of you fools with that turtle shell. Oh, who is that blue guy with the weird antenna ears? I don't know. Okay, yeah, him I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I, I, we're getting Chat, into... who's, who's the blue guy? All right, first person to answer who is the blue guy with the antenna ears. Above the Snorlax. Yeah. Who, who, yeah, whoever gets that, the first, the name oh of that. Oh my God! Let me go. Pokemon gets the Super Mario Brothers three for 3DS. Oh, did Pal? Oh, Palademon got it. Pal well, well, we need confirmation. Yep, look it yep. up. I'm gonna look it up right now. Although everybody else is thinking. Oh for yeah. also, but. Goldine, Goldine is will mess you up on this level. Do not trust that Goldine. Is, that is indeed Wooper. And wow, okay. All right, Googling, Google image searching Wooper is terrifying. Susan, behold, oh, behold no. what I just got, all right? Look what I just oh. uncovered. Thank you, oh, Internet. I Okay, first of all, given that part of the URL is Sexymon, I don't like where this is going. Just, no, just click it. <laughs> don't talk, just do it. What? I don't, it looks, it looks like Lex Luthor from like the early odd Superman Bruce Tim cartoon. It, yes. Also, okay, so the, the tomato is a Kirby thing, actually, apparently. Oh, okay. Yes, that is a Kirby thing. Yeah. Oh, an unused party ball, I'm so sad. Oh, God. Ah, down now two. it is down to one, Marth. Bring it on. <laughs> Some bitch. Oh my god, and Squirtle's back, and he's yep. just... It's a very, you know, the earth is on his back kind of thing, and it freaks me out. The earth the world is on the back of a giant turtle. Anybody? No? Okay. Three legged frog right now. <laughs> I'm like staring. Food! I, I, I honestly can't. I can't stop staring at yeah. that squirtle. It's as Poe Ben said. He is like, majestic. Yeah. The way squirtle. Oh, he fell to his own death. Crazy. Yeah. How unsatisfying. So okay, so for future giveaways, here's here's part of an issue. Apparently, there's more lag for certain people in the chat. They we we had already gotten a lot of whooper answers by the time they had heard the question. So we'll have to do something a little differently for that, for the next giveaway or the 3DS giveaway. Yeah, ap apologies for that, everyone. We're uh, we're sort of uh, we're sort of winging it today. 
That is the all. Oh, is- oh, you act like we have a plan the rest of the time. <laughs> we do have a plan some of the time. We have plan-ish. We have we have our plan is to show up and see what happens. It's Napoleon's plan. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's about it. That is okay. You, be, be Jiggly Buff. Be Jiggly Buff. Be Jiggly Buff. <laughs> oh well, here because I'm gonna do uh, where's the target target test? Okay, I'll do Jiggly Buff target test. Okay. Oh, post the question in chat. That's a good idea. We don't, we don't have to say it on the stream, you can just drop it in there. That is that is an elegant solution. Okay, Susan, go. in your honor, I'm going to be Jigglypuff with a little crown. Because I know how much you like oh, hats, hats on things. I do! I really do like hats on things. <laughs> I remember, listen, one of the very first conversations I had with Richard, I was explaining how I really enjoy putting hats on chocobos in Final Fantasy 13 2, and he said, This explains so much about <laughs> <laughs> And I fell asleep and fell to my death. <laughs> yeah, if there are any Final Fantasy fans in the audience today, listen to the podcast tomorrow, just so you can get angry at us. <laughs> yeah, there will be a lot to be, oh yeah, there's you falling asleep and falling down. But you were, you were having a nice dream, it looked like, before you plummeted to your demise. God, I, I love the way these target stages are laid out because you look at it at first and you're like, how nope. is this even possible? Well, you almost saw me do it, right? Not that I did it quickly, but... Well, we're still a little behind, so... Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, oh! No. I would sell my soul to be able to hear Isaac Hayes voice Jigglypuff. <laughs> Jigglypuff. Dong and Jigglypuff. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe maybe Curtis Mayfield. Maybe Curtis Mayfield. Shut your mouth. I'm just talking about <laughs> just, Jigglypuff. Just talking about Jigglypuff. <laughs> <laughs> like Will Susan sing the Jigglypuff song? <laughs> Richard does it better though, quite honestly. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Jigglypuff says when he dies. Whoops! Yeah. Jigglypuff! Yeah, Jigglypuff got beat on a lot in the show, if I'm if I'm recalling that correctly. Yeah. <laughs> What's with the what's with the come hither look, by the way, on with Yoshi's character select screen? Oh, what come is that on. all that's, about? That's Yoshi's thing. Yoshi is a very very sensual dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. I don't think. I mean, I don't think he's far off. I mean, I think that 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 about covers it. He's I... a very physical creature. Is Yoshi? <laughs> not not that long ago, I was writing something about Yoshi. There's more targets? And I, like, I, I I can't stop thinking about how disgusting Yoshi's biology is. Like, first of all... What? He hatches out of an egg. What he hatches out... Okay, what creature it hatches and from birth is wearing a pair